very good evening to all of you this side rohit bajaj i am at present working at resonance in the kota and here i am going to present you a way to tackle out a specific problem which is very very important as far as the j advanced is concerned so you can see there is a problem which is written at the board and this problem has been taken from ionic equilibrium definitely that chapter is very scary but you don't need to worry about this i am here with you so what look at watch at this problem how much silver bromide could be dissolved in 1 liter of 4 molar ammonia solution and what is the given data here is there is a complex formation constant is given to you and solubility product of silver bromide has been already given to us and now we are supposed to calculate how much agbr could be dissolved in 1 liter because what is solubility how many moles of a given solute can be dissolved in a given solvent at a given temperature till it till your solution gets saturated those moles of agbr which has been dissolved in 1 liter of solution to achieve the saturation to achieve the equilibrium at a given temperature is called solubility these kind of the problems students really find it very difficult but definitely these are very easy problem and if you really hit it you will definitely crack your exam with a very decent rank let's look at the solution let as i assume let us suppose s moles of agbr can be dissolved in 1 liter of ammonia solution suppose i have 1 liter ammonia solution i have 1 liter ammonia solution and i can maximum dissolve s moles of agbr till it establish an equilibrium with ammonia whatever the ag ps that will be furnished by agbr will react with ammonia why because you know that ammonia act as a ligand and ammonia complexes with ag plus to form this complex and look at here formation constant is too large oh my god this is really very large equilibrium constant and definitely this is the key point to solve the question how will you write this equation Ag plus when will react with ammonia, it forms a complex. This is the complex cation whose formula you are not supposed to mug it up, and this is already given in the question. For this reaction, equilibrium constant is formation constant, which is ten raised to power eight. It means whatever is the moles of ag plus and br minus are generated let it be s and s because they are being formed in the 1 is to 1 stoichiometric ratio so you will get s moles of ag plus and s moles of br minus but do you really think that silver plus molarity will be s molar because i am taking of 1 liter solution and i am adding s moles and the number of moles dissolved in 1 liter solution is the molarity so this s is nothing but molarity of silver positive ions and molarity of bromide ion but what is given to us that this ag plus is reacting with ammonia how many moles of ammonia you have in the solution you have 1 liter ammonia you have molarity 4 molarity with respect to ammonia is 4 and what is molarity into volume you know that molarity multiplied by volume in liter is nothing but number of moles of ammonia so you have 4 moles of ammonia if there will be x moles of silver plus that will be used to form this complex then how many moles out of the 4 moles of ammonia we will be that will be combining because they have they are reacting in 1 is to 2 ratio so out of 4 you will see 2x moles of ammonia will combine this is the crucial point to note so if x moles of silver plus will enter into solution in form of complex 
then 2x moles of ammonia will have to be utilized to form that complex. So to maintain this equilibrium, you will be left with 4 minus 2x moles of ammonia, which will be present as a solvent. Now, how much, how many moles of this complex cation will be formed in the 1 liter solution is because they are being consumed and formed in 1 is to 1 ratio. So if x moles will be consumed, x moles will be formed of this complex sign. And remind it, whether I'm talking of the mole, but these are those moles which are present in 1 liter solution. So at the same time, this is molarity. This is molar concentration of silver plus, which has been finally reduced to S minus X. So at this equilibrium, which is running simultaneous to this, you will have to count concentration of silver plus as S minus X. So at equilibrium, at the simultaneous equilibrium, concentration of silver plus in the solution will be finally to be counted as S minus X. Now, how to solve this equation? Very simple. How many unknown we have? 2, S and X. And how many equations we should require to solve the two variables which are unknown to us? Definitely two equations. And don't worry about this. Two equations are given to us. How? Look at here. KSP value of AGBR can be written as concentration of silver positive at the equilibrium multiplied by concentration of bromide ion at the equilibrium. Right? Put their value. This is S minus X into S 10 raised to power minus 13. 5 into 10 raised to power minus 13 given to us. This is, let's say, equation number 1. What is the second equation? Use this formation constant. How will you write the formation constant from this equation? Formation constant will be concentration of this complex ion at equilibrium upon concentration of silver positive at equilibrium into concentration of ammonia but don't forget to count here its exponent 2. If you will put out here values, substituting their values, you will get something like this. And this Kf is 10 raised per 8. So these are two equations. But definitely to solve these equations may take a very long time. So we need to use a method of approximation to save our time and to get your answer in few seconds. How? Look at here. This equilibrium constant is very large. And you know that when equilibrium constant exceeds 1000, treat that reaction just like irreversibly. Because when the equilibrium constant is very large, this reaction has huge tendency to go in the forward. So this reactant will have to get their value tending to zero. Is silver plus ko apna value? Almost zero approach karwana padega. Why? Because this reaction has equilibrium constant very very small. It means this reaction does not want to get converted into Ag plus. So tendency of Ag plus to get formed is very small. But the moment Ag plus is formed, simultaneously it is converted into this complex with a very high tendency. It means the moment you will get small amount of Ag plus from this equation, simultaneously that Ag plus will be dragged to form this complex. It means at the final equilibrium, this Ag plus will have to make its concentration almost tending to zero. And when it is almost tending to zero, you can use one another approximation that this S minus X value is almost zero. So this X is nearly S. And I'm going to use this step in the solving of this equation. So now I can write concentration of silver plus concentration of silver plus as KSP upon concentration of chloride you can obviously substitute its value. Plug the value of silver plus obtained from this equation in equation number 2. You will get 10 raised to the power 8 is X into concentration of chloride upon concentration of silver plus as KSP of AGCl and 4 minus 2X whole square. 
क्लोराइड कंसेंट्रेशन इज एस सब्सिट्यूट एंड ऑलरेडी एस माइनस एक्स इज टेंडिंग टू जीरो सो एक्स इज नियरली एस एक्स इज नियरली एस सो नाउ लुक एट द दिस इक्वेशन दिस इज नो मोर ए कॉम्प्लेक्स इक्वेशन टू सॉल्व नाउ यू कैन सी एस पी वैल्यू ऑफ एजीसीएल यू कैन टेक इट ऑन द अदर साइड so this become 5 into 10 this for minus 3 into 10 this for 8 and this becomes s upon 4 minus 2s whole square once you solve it you will get 5 into 10 this for minus 5 and if i take this square if i want to remove this square take the square root on the both side what you will be getting you will be getting here S upon four minus two s is root of five into ten this per minus five, and this will be root fifteen into ten this per minus three, which is almost seven into ten this per minus three. Here you can use another approximation because this number is less than one. You can assume this two s to be negligible with respect to four. 2s can be ignorable 2s can be assumed as an ignorable to 4 only under the condition if the value of 2s is less than 10% of 4 i am assuming 2s is less than 10% of the 4 that is less than 0.4 it means s is less than 0.2 under this condition you can use the approximation that this 2s can be ignorable because if solubility is less than 0.2 this 2s is less than 10% of the 4 you can ignore it and solving this equation you will get its value 28 into 10 this per minus 3 which you can really see this number is less than 0.2 because this solubility is less than 0.2 so my decision to take this 2s as negligible with respect to 4 is definitely valid and this is its new solubility so what is the main conclusion is when you get such kind of the problem where one reaction has equilibrium constant very high treat it like an irreversible reaction just in the same way when we solved used to solve the numerical in mole concept under the stoichiometry or problems of the limiting reagent if someone ask you calculate the concentration of silver plus in the equilibrium on the one side when we are saying its concentration is tending to zero don't consider is perfectly zero why because if you will put it perfectly zero this equilibrium constant has to be infinite isn't it it means concentration of silver plus cannot be plucked perfectly zero but how can i found it how can i calculate it if it is so small again very simple you have this equation you already have counted the value of bromide concentration which was s and this is value is 0.028 molar so you can clearly see calculation of silver plus can be done from this equation so you will find here concentration of silver plus in the final solution will be something of the order of 10 raised to power minus 11 don't you think this is a very small number tending to zero it means our decision of making this approximation was definitely very good decision so if some ion will make its concentration tending to zero it will not be exactly zero because its very small amount will be present to maintain this equilibrium eventually this is reversible reaction and you can definitely secure your four marks from this question because sometimes student find it very difficult but it's not as difficult don't you think so i hope you must have liked this video and you must have been benefited from this so see you Thank you very much